That's Mary Marst, isn't it? The reputation preceded her, didn't it? Well, it isn't every day a spoiled heiress becomes the acting CEO of an international hotel conglomerate. That's true. The Marst Corporation. Mary was certainly Daddy's little girl. Well, this family has seen its share of tragedy recently. What is it, two years ago, Frank Marst and his wife Ellen died in a skiing accident over in Europe? Then Frank's will hands over the family business to Mary, only to have her nearly die in a car accident. She suffered second and third degree burns all over her body. I don't think she was expected to live, and that was over a year ago. Well, you gotta hand it to her. She always defied expectations. She was pretty tough. So tough, maybe someone just got tired of waiting. Mary's hospice nurse and her stepsister Jane Barrett found her like this. I'll let you guys go to work. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Okay, partner. Ready when you are. Und damit herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen Fall von Let's Play CSI Tödliche Verschwörung. Excuse us, miss. We're with the Las Vegas Crime Lab. We'd like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Starting with your name, please. I'm Pauline Liu. I'm Mary's hospice nurse. But I suppose you might have been able to guess that from the uniform. So. Äh, der Fall heißt ausgetippt. Und ja, was fragen wir sie denn als erstes? Wir fragen sie einfach, ähm, das hier. Yes, and Miss Barrett, that's Mary's stepsister. She and I found Mary. Like this. That is, or was, the unit which regulated Mary's morphine dosage. The mobility in the two fingers on her left hand allowed her to press the button on the regulator. Das ist eine gute Frage. By breaking the regulator, there'd be no control over how much morphine Mary was receiving. There'd be no way to monitor it. If Mary pushed the button too often, then a small safety latch inside the regulator would engage. The latch blocks any further signals into the mechanism dispensing the morphine. It's what prevents an overdose. Um, about a quarter to eight, I think? Miss Barrett visits us every Sunday and she usually arrives by ten o'clock, but today she was early. She rang the bell about half past seven. Miss Barrett and I were together when we came into the room and found Mary, just like this. I was just devastated. No, it's just not physically possible. Mary was burned over 75% of her body. And we're talking about burns which were second and third degree. The scar tissue is so extensive, her mobility had been limited to two fingers on her left hand. So. Yes, of course. Ich denke mal, die anderen Fragen erübrigen sich auch so ziemlich. Have you ever seen one of these before? It's a device used with an IV to monitor a patient's dosage of medication. So it looks as though if Mary were experiencing some pain, she could just push this little button here, and the regulator would release a dose of morphine into her IV. Okay. See this? There's a serial number right along the broken seam here. So if we put these pieces back together at the lab, we should be able to read it. Sehr gut. So. Bottle of morphine. So there has to be a switch inside that regulator unit which prevents a patient from overdosing. Yeah. Da braucht man das hier. Nothing to collect here. Sicher? Nothing to collect here. Nothing to collect here. Hm, warum konnte ich das dann wählen? No fluids here. Okay. Aha. Okay. That's an excellent print. Ich dachte, es wäre immer so, dass das Ausgewählte dann... Ach, egal. Es ist halt nicht so. So. So, once we've processed the scene, we'll call Robbins and arrange for the body to be transferred to the coroner's office. We'll get a better look at the body at autopsy. Yeah. 
Ja. Okay. Was haben wir denn hier noch? Hm, hier scheint ja nichts zu sein. Das ist ja ungewöhnlich, dass man in eine Ecke gucken kann, wo nichts ist. Na gut. So. Nein, ich will nicht mit dir reden. Gucke mal da. Shoe impressions? Left in mud. The mud's still moist. Fresh. Ich würde eine Aufnahme machen. These muddy footprints have a very distinct tread. Sehr gut. Look like anyone you know? Maybe not. This bust is of the late Frank Marst, Mary's father. Looks like it's made of solid bronze. Mhm. Davon macht man den Abdruck. That's good. We'll be able to compare those marks back at the lab. Gut. Haben wir sonst noch irgendwas? Hm, wohl nicht. Okay. Hallo. Miss Barrett, we're with the Las Vegas Crime Lab. I know you're upset, but we'd like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. Of course, officers. Whatever I can do to help. Mary's nurse let me in, and it was just like my normal Sunday visit. I wanted to tell Mary about my promotion. And then, as soon as I saw her, I knew something was wrong. I could tell by the paleness of her skin. I think I screamed. And the nurse screamed, and that's when John ran in and we tried to revive her. This is the family's chalet. When we all decided to bring Mary back here to spend her final days in peace, my brother John decided to move in too, so he could be with her and help take care of her. He and Mary were very close. Much closer than he and I. No, we're not particularly close. Well, let's just say we have very different views about money. Very different values about it. Growing up as an only child, Mary had always wanted a little brother, and John was more than happy to be spoiled by her. I have no idea. He ran out of here, and I haven't seen him since. Yes, that's right. I'm sure you've heard of my stepfather, the self-proclaimed hotel tycoon. The bust is almost as imposing and impressive as the man himself. He and my mother died less than a year after it was commissioned. They were skiing in the Swiss Alps. I can tell you, everyone was shocked when the living will entrusted Mary to step in as the acting CEO of Marst Hotel and Entertainment. Well, needless to say, no one thought a party girl could take over the reins of a multinational travel and leisure conglomerate, including me. But I have to admit, we were all wrong. Tragically, the very same night she announced her retirement and appointed her successor, she crashed her car. Yes, it is. She was so badly burned, the doctors told us she wouldn't live through the night. I will never forget the look on my brother's face when he heard the doctor say that. 
It's all impossibly difficult to describe to you. I mean, first our parents, and then Mary? It was almost too much to bear. The way she fought. She was stronger than anyone could have guessed. She wanted to live. That's correct. Mary's nurse and I discovered the body this morning. 7.30 this morning? Maybe 7.45? I'm not exactly certain. Yes, she was lying almost exactly like this, but the nurse and my brother John did try resuscitating her, so the body may have been jostled a bit. I made sure none of us moved anything else, because I understand the importance of not disturbing a crime scene. Her morphine regulator was smashed. Mary couldn't do that. Poor thing could only move two fingers on her left hand. God bless her. I pray she's in a better place now. You'd think anyone living like this would want to die. Not Mary. She was a fighter, and she was a real inspiration to me. When I moved away from here, I thought I'd never come back. But after Mary's accident, I started flying in from LA every Sunday. I swear to you, as God is my witness, Mary wanted to live. Hmm. Sie flogen aus LA hierher. Wohnen Sie dort? Yes, I live in Los Angeles. I work for a public relations firm. But like I said, I fly out to visit Mary every Sunday. Danke für Ihre Zeit. Thank you for your time, Miss Barrett. We'd like it if you could remain here in Las Vegas until we have a better idea of what happened to your stepsister, okay? All right, officers. Whatever you think is best. Okay. Ähm, bei Weiche haben wir ja ein paar. Müssen wir gleich noch, äh, etwas absuchen. Aber hier sind wir noch nicht fertig, wie man an dem fehlenden Haken da sehen kann. Oh, da sehe ich es doch schon. We should compare these footprints to the ones we pulled from the next room. Not bad for a preliminary assessment. What's next? So, haben wir jetzt alles? Nein, haben wir nicht. Hm. Was könnte denn hier noch sein? Außer vielleicht mit ihr zu reden nochmal. Nurse Lou, we have something else we'd like to ask you. Yes? It's hard for me to say this, but I do believe Mary wanted to die. It's a miracle she survived the car accident, but the quality of her life from that moment on was extremely poor. It's difficult to imagine just how much physical pain she was in on a daily basis. We did as much as we could to ease that pain, but I know she's in a much better place now. I have a small room at the house. Family prefers I refer to it as the chalet. Anyway, when the family hired me, it was with the understanding that Mary required 24-hour care. Um, I can't remember Mary ever having a call button, actually. I used to just check in on her four or five times a night. But I stopped doing that a few months ago when the doctor was able to adjust the regulator to administer a dosage which allowed her to sleep peacefully through the night. I should have never have stopped checking in on her. Maybe I could have saved her. Could she talk at all? No. The damage to her vocal cords was too severe. And she couldn't move enough to sign either. Miss Barrett once purchased the computer for Mary so she could literally talk through it. But even though you could operate the voice software with the touch of a button, Mary showed no interest in it. Haben Sie geholfen, Mary Schmerzen zu beenden? Sagen Sie es ruhig. Are you familiar with the Nightingale Pledge? It's an oath nurses take. Like the Hippocratic Oath. Part of it goes, I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. So in answer to your question, no, I did not assist Mary in ending her life. Wohnen nur Sie und Mary hier? No, Mr. Barrett, uh, I mean John, Mary's brother, well, stepbrother, actually. I'm sorry, it's a little confusing. He lives in the chalet. He told me he moved in right after they decided to check Mary out of the hospital. 
She hadn't been expected to live very long, and they thought it would be nice for her to live out the rest of her days looking out over the waters of Lake Merritt. He spent a lot of time with her every day, talking to her, reading to her. They were very close. When we couldn't revive Mary, Mr. Barrett got very upset and left the house. Wo ist John Barrett jetzt? I don't know. I took care of Mary, but I was not particularly close to the family. I tried to be as inconspicuous in their lives as possible. Danke für Ihre Geduld. Yes, of course. Ja.